everybody, welcome to the Top 10 Luxury Lifestyle Channel. Today we're going to go over the Tony Leung biography. Tony Leung Chu Wai's career spans almost four decades, and yet we know so little about the actor who is famously referred to as the pride of Hong Kong cinema. We got to know him better after he landed the role of Shu Wen Wu, the dreaded Asian anti-hero from Marvel's cinematic universe. The 59-year-old Lee Young is regarded as a legend of his generation and has long been among the highest paid actors in the country. Tony has a string of notable movies to his name, including one made by celebrated director Wong Kar Wai. Tony Leung is not just an actor, but a great singer and a flamboyant millionaire. He's called the most successful Asian actor and the most internationally recognized artist in this era. Also known as Small Tiger of TVB's Five Tiger General, Leung has won many international awards and acclaim. These include the Cannes Film Festival Award for Best Actor in the critically acclaimed movie In the Mood for Love, directed by Wong Kar Wai. Moreover, CNN named Tony as one of Asia's 25 greatest actors of all time. Leung is known for his collaborations with director Wong Kar Wai, working in seven films with him, including Chongqing Express, 1994, Happy Together, 1997, In the Mood for Love, 2000, and The Grandmaster, 2013. He also appeared in three Venice Film Festival Golden Lion winning films, including A City of Sadness, 1989, Cyclo, 1995, and the Ang Lee directed Lost Caution, 2007. He also starred in the Oscar nominated movie Hero and several box office blockbuster films, such as Hard Boiled, 1992, and Internal Affairs, 2002. However, Tony gained prominence in the glitzy world of Hollywood after appearing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe film Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings as Shu Wen Wu. This movie has just been released and has received rave reviews from critics and a thumbs up from the viewers. So this means Tony Leung has solidified his spot in Hollywood with this movie. Did you know how impressive the list of awards and accolades won by Tony Leung so far is? Apart from winning Best Actor at the Cannes Film Festival, he is the seven-time winner of the Hong Kong Film Awards and three-time winner of the Golden Horse Film Awards. In fact, Tony holds the record for winning the most awards in the Best Actor category. In the book East Asian Film Stars, Tony Leung was described as one of the most successful and widely acclaimed Hong Kong actors of his generation, with a broad and diverse filmography. You may be surprised to hear that the widely acclaimed star first signed with an American agent in 2005, but his legacy solidified in 2021 when he became a part of the coveted MCU. Tony says that this long delay in his Hollywood debut is a result of fate. No matter what caused this delay, one thing is sure. Through Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, MCU has definitely reached out to a broader audience and given us one of its most compelling anti-heroes. Tony Leung has been in the movie industry for over four decades and has amassed considerable wealth. Reportedly, he's worth around $20 million, which doesn't include the net worth of his wife, Karina Lau, a top-rated actress in Hong Kong. Are you wondering how Tony Leung and Karina Lau spend their hard-earned fortune? Don't worry, we've got all the juicy details. Tony has a deep interest in property investment. Think of it as his second profession, after show business. Leung has made some very profitable property investments to date. He often buys properties for renting out and has sold several residential properties, including houses and apartments in Hong Kong. One of these was a ground floor apartment located on Wellington Street Central. He purchased it for $3.7 million and four years later sold it for $12.7 million, securing an astounding $9 million profit. Then in 2016, Tony Leung purchased two high-rise offices in the famous W50 Commercial Building in Wong Chukang, worth around $12.8 million today. Leung also owns a flat with a huge balcony, providing outstanding mountain and ocean views. This flat is located in Repulse Bay, which is among Hong Kong's most expensive neighborhoods. The apartment is worth over $8.5 million. That's not all. Tony also owns an extravagant house spread over 4,000 square feet, featuring a huge garden located at 15 Watford Road, The Peak. 
The couple previously owned a slightly smaller flat on the same road, but they sold it for $12.6 million in 2007. Just like her husband, Karina Lau likes to live extravagantly and owns several properties in China, located in Beijing, Shanghai, Suzhou, and Hong Kong. In 1995, Lau purchased a flat in May Tower, which is now worth around 13 million U.S. dollars and 100 million Hong Kong dollars. This fabulous home features a designated color theme for each portion of the property and has a unique romantic design that evokes that vintage turn-of-the-century feel that's strongly connected with Shanghai. Reportedly, the couple's residence was designed by well-known production designer William Chang. He also collaborated with Lee Young as a costume designer for the iconic masterpieces In the Mood for Love and 2046. Another thing Karina is passionate about is wines. She frequently shares photos with some of the world's most notable wines on her social media, including the rare Chablis Grand Cru and Chateau Petrus. An average bottle costs around 20,000 Hong Kong dollars or 2,580 U.S. dollars. Lau once posted a picture of herself holding a glass of 1990 Domaine de la Romanie Conti that has an eye-watering price tag of 182,000 Hong Kong dollars or 23,480 U.S. dollars. Apart from properties and wines, the couple shares a passion for luxury cars. Tony is particularly interested in investing in limited-edition vehicles. He is fond of his 15-year-old Range Rover Sports SUV, the latest model of which costs between $150,000 and $320,000 today. Believe it or not, Hong Kong's iconic actor has a multi-million dollar garage where you'll find gems like the Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Black Series. According to the German automaker, a very limited number of vehicles were made in this model. Only two to three hundred cars were equipped with right-hand drive, and the model is no longer made with the fabulous 6.2-liter NA V8 M156 engine. So there's no doubt that today, this model is a great investment. One of the recent purchases of this astute collector is also a Mercedes. This time, the actor purchased the Mercedes-Benz S500 Cabriolet, worth over $250,000. And how can we not mention that Tony likes to spend lavishly on his wife? You must have noticed that Karina is an avid jewelry lover and is often spotted flaunting exclusive pieces from top-tier design houses, such as Tiffany & Company, Bulgari, and Cartier. In 2016, Karina mentioned in an interview with Ming Pao that Li Young once spoiled her with a vintage jewelry piece when filming in Europe. When Tony is not busy making profit-churning investment decisions, he spends his time indulging in his favorite hobbies, sailing and surfing. The Hong Kong Yacht Club's Facebook account posted in 2018 that Tony and his friends stood second in the Dragon class at the Spring Regatta that year. It is a misconception that Lee Young's breakthrough role was in John Woo's hit directorial Hard Boiled, in which Lee Young co-starred with Chow Yun-fat. Instead, Hu Xiaoshen's 1989 film A City of Sadness received worldwide acclaim back when it was released and won the Venice Golden Lion. Tony Leung is considered one of the finest actors of his generation in his country, and Brad Pitt and Robert De Niro are admirers of his work. He was labeled Asia's answer to Clark Gable by The Times Magazine due to his romantic leading roles. He also has a Mandarin and Canto Pop singing career. In fact, Tony Leung sang the theme song of Internal Affairs along with Andy Lau. The actor can speak Mandarin, Cantonese, Spanish, and English fluently, and even Japanese, which he flaunted in Tokyo Raiders. His career's first Mandarin-speaking character was in Lust, Caution. Tony Leung and Karina Lau are among Hong Kong's most famous and highest-earning celebrity couples. They met on the set of the movie The Replica in 1984 and dated for over 19 years before tying the knot in Bhutan in 2008. Their wedding was one of the most memorable events in Hong Kong and created a media frenzy in the country. Companies spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to get exclusive photos and information about the event. The couple has worked together in several hit movies. Duke of Mount Deer, Police Cadet, Yang Saga, Days of Being Wild, Ashes of Time, He Ain't Heavy, and 2046 are some of their most successful cinematic ventures together. 
So now you know about Tony Leung. He is a fine actor and has proved his worth time and again. Now that he has debuted in Hollywood, it remains to be seen how he carves a niche for himself. The stage is set for a great career with the success of Shang-Chi. But whether or not Tony Leung continues this kind of success in the future, only time will tell. If you like this video, please hit like and share it with your friends. To learn more exclusive facts about your favorite personalities and luxury items, please subscribe to this channel. Until next time!